Eagle Seed Soybeans. That's what I got behind me here. So this is a complete unbiased review of Eagle Seed Soybeans. I have no affiliation with them. I don't get sponsored by them. I don't get paid by them. I'm putting this video out to help you guys because me, myself, when I first planted a soybean food plot, uh, first tried Eagle Seed two years ago and I was skeptical. I had a hard time finding a good channel that gave a real good review of Eagle Seed soybeans and I wanted to know how they did. Uh, allow you guys to put the best soybean food plot in that you can and uh, know whether or not to purchase Eagle Seed. This is just broadcast. I do have good soil. I didn't use any fertilizer, um, nothing. And these were broadcast in. I did till it up with a, um, with a tiller, uh, King Cutter tiller. A lot of tillers out there. I use the King Cutter, works great. Uh, broadcast the seed, you can see it came up super thick. I mean, this plot, I, I plant my plots in an L shape. That way uh, it forces the bucks to come. They can't just walk in and see that there's no does. They'll explore. So this is a big L shape, almost an acre in size. And like I said, these are almost chest high in certain areas. And this is March, so these are all dried out and they are picked clean. And the one thing I, I did read about Eagle Seed, I was a little skeptical planting, was that they don't produce the pods that egg beans do or some other soybeans. I can tell you firsthand, they produce a lot of pods. At least the Midwest managers mix did. I was very happy with pod production. Maybe not as high as egg soybeans for pods, but the height of them and the fact they're a, sword, a forage soybean and they kept, they could handle the browse pressure. I come in here and checked on them in uh, end of July and the deer were browsing them super heavy. If they wouldn't have been a forage soybean, those soybeans would have been dead. They would have nipped them off when they were small and that would have been end of story. That's why the forage soybean um, by Eagle Seed is a great choice, 100%. So first things first, I'm not selling anything guys. I'm just trying to make you guys better hunters. You can take down uh, the biggest buck you've ever shot or uh, up your chances of killing your target deer. That's all I'm doing. That's all my channel's about. I don't sell anything. Uh, you hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge, doesn't cost you a thing. So I'd appreciate the support giving you my knowledge, my experience with food plots, and what has worked for me and what hasn't. And apple trees, uh, some crab apple trees, some apple trees, we're gonna be planting all that stuff. So uh, if you guys subscribe, you'll get notification when that video comes out. Like I said, it doesn't cost you a thing. I'm not selling anything, I'm just trying to make you guys better hunters. Uh, the more bull hunters we can get in today's world, the better. And let's get to reviewing Eagle Seed Soybeans. Here we go. One of the only bad reviews of Eagle Seed soybeans that I read is the price point. Yes, they cost a lot more than egg soybeans, but I can tell you firsthand, I've planted both. Uh, they withstand the browsing pressure way better than the egg soybeans. Where those egg soybeans get mowed down, they won't grow up, they're done. Um, so to me, the money's worth it. I will be planting Eagle Seed soybeans. Um, spend a little extra money on the forage soybeans. So behind me, this is the Midwest uh, manager's mix. And this soybean, you can see right now, it's about waist height. And these are pick clean. I mean, this is about a one acre plot behind me. Absolutely pick clean. I'm surrounded by open eggs. So that's why the forage soybeans are so great. They get browsed, they can handle the browsing pressure and they keep on coming up. Um, that's why I love forage soybeans, because you guys know soybeans are like candy to deer, at least by me. They absolutely love them. They will take soybeans over any other food any other food source by me, um, especially when they're young and tender. They just love them. So this Midwest Manager's Mix came up great. Uh, it's got three different varieties, I believe, of soybeans in it. Um, here in Wisconsin, I plant them the end of June. And I can tell you they stay green right up until that first frost, which was about mid, mid October. Usually it's between mid October, end of October, that first frost here in Wisconsin. And then obviously that frost will kill them and then they'll turn yellow and lose their attractiveness. That's where my oat food plots come in uh, big time. Um, so I always, it's good to have a variety, diversity. Uh, you don't want just soybean food plots. You wanna keep, you know, soybeans um, give me a good inventory of what deer are in the area in the summertime when they're in velvet. 
and usually September, October, I've had some giant deer in here. Uh, my soybeans are green, all the farmer soybeans are brown, they're ready to harvest, and I shot an absolute giant uh, two years ago, and I shot a real nice 10 point last year that was using this Eagle Seed uh, food plot Midwest Managers mix, and it did the job. Uh, let me know they were in here, and they stayed in here, and I took both those deer in November. Um, they will hit these after they dried out. They'll obviously pick the beans clean and that's what they've done. So, One thing I can say is I planted the big fellow soybeans and they, I'll give them credit, they got tall, almost as tall as me. I had to adjust my trail cameras, keep rising them up because they were so tall. But I did not see the pod production out of the big fellow. A um, little disappointed with that. They did have huge leaves. They were getting browsed super heavy, but uh, once they, once the first frost hit and it killed them, um, the deer weren't in them because there was no pods for them to eat. So it was super great soybean during the summer, but did not have the pods that the Midwest uh, managers mix did. Um, I know those soybeans are more for the southern states, uh, so I, I got them in end of May here, so they had plenty of time. They just didn't show the pods like the Midwest managers mix did. So. At least here in Wisconsin, I'll be sticking to the Midwest managers mix for sure. So I'm going to take you through here and show you uh, planting these soybeans as well as the results when they were coming up. I did spray them. Another thing, uh, another great thing about Eagle Seed soybeans is they're Roundup ready. Uh, at least by me here, I spray them when they're about uh, 6 to 10 inches tall because there's a lot of weeds. I get so many thistles here. It's unbelievable. So. Um, that's why Eagle Seed's so great to have a Roundup Ready version of soybeans. And then I like to stay out of there. I don't like to check on these beans all the time because this is a little sanctuary I created for the deer. Um, the last thing I want to do is have the deer not feeling safe coming in here to eat. So, the fact you can spray these soybeans is awesome. I guess the only bad thing I could say is these soybeans get so tall, make sure to adjust your trail cameras a little higher. Uh, because you can barely see, they almost cover up the deer walking through them, they're so tall. So that's the only downside, if you consider that a downside. Other than that, I got nothing bad to say. As you guys can see, these eagle seed soybeans, they are, they are absolutely picked clean. There's no pods left. I mean, I got a, the acre in size here, and these soybeans are just picked clean. No pods left at all. I mean, they're waist height. They picked them clean. They actually absolutely hammered these soybeans. I tried some uh, brassicas almost side by side. My brassica plot is probably uh, 200 yards from here, and the deer hardly touched them. They were in here. I got two cell cameras in here, and they were hammering my soybeans daily, and uh, the brassicas were pretty much untouched. So at least here in southern Wisconsin, um, soybeans is a clear winner as far as what to plant. So as far as how many so how much soybeans I used, so like I said, this plot's about an acre in size. It's a big L shape, a little under an acre. I used a 50 pound bag. Uh, and if anything, it's even a little heavy. I had real good germination. I did time it out perfect right before rain, so that helps obviously. But uh, one 50 pound bag. Uh, and it looks pretty good. They came up super thick. So then I used a four-wheeler with a drag rake. I flipped the drag harrow over and just just spread that dirt over top of the seed uh, to get that seed down about a half inch to an inch right before rain. And that worked super good. I uh, highly recommend if you guys got a four-wheeler with a drag rake. Um, I've had soybeans germinate on top of the soil, especially before rain, but it's better off if you can cover that seed uh, with a drag harrow, definitely ups your odds of good germination. So I hope this review helps you guys and uh, gives you some confidence in what soybean to plant this year. Like I said, I know I'll be planting eagle seed soybeans again. The deer absolutely crushed them. I've shot two great deer since I started doing eagle seed soybeans. They, they were in them all summer and fall. So it's an easy decision for me. I just wanted to put a review out there for Eagle Seed Soybeans so you guys can make up your own mind what to plant. 
this year. I just love sharing my passion of the outdoors with you guys, giving you some good videos straight to the point uh, so you can learn how to kill more deer, kill that biggest buck you're after. That's my main goal of doing this. So it doesn't cost you nothing, hit the subscribe button. I got some awesome food plot videos coming out here. We're gonna be planting a bunch of apple trees, crab apple trees. Uh, we're gonna be broadcasting some corn food plots. We're gonna be planting more eagle seed food plots, um, oats. We're gonna be doing some HD screening, some real tall screening to screen in some of these food plots. So we got a lot of exciting stuff coming up here. So if you guys hit that subscribe button, you'll get notification when I put some new videos out. Thanks guys.